hi every baby welcome to you and welcome back to the channel if you're new here my name is kitten and today i have an updated littles room tour so this is basically my equivalent of a nursery but i don't have a crib yet but i do have a lot of new stuff and we're gonna go through in a lot of detail heavily requested so let's start i'll give you guys like a quick little like scan through and then we'll go through sections all right everything's gonna be kind of shadowed because i'm using my ring light to kind of skim around the room start as if like you're walking in so behind me is the door it is a purple door and then when you walk in this is my dresser that holds a bunch of my diapers and my onesies and stuff and on top we have my new toys I'll flip the camera on and show you in just a second and then over here I have Molly doll this is her makeshift cribby <laughs> And um, I'll show you guys like what's in all of this stuff. The bottom drawers on both of these are like a bunch of my kind of mix and match diapers for like easy grabbing purposes. Cause you'll see that this is not where I keep all of my diapers. So it's just kind of like um, a variety of diapers. There's wipes in here. Um, there's a bunch of like the more rare or discontinued ones in here. Um, or like there's just easy to grab uh, options and stuff. I just like to have a bunch of different kinds that I don't have to fight through the closet to um, find a diapy. So yeah, I just keep these ones in here. And then the tops, I'm not gonna take every single one of them out, but um, my onesies, which daddy rolls up like a little burrito for me, cause it's the only way that they'll all fit. Um, the middle section of this is like accessories. These are training pants. I keep my middies in here, bonnets, bibs, um, cloth bibs. Uh, and I think that there's like some plastic pants or yeah, like diapy covers and stuff in there too. And then this one is just more onesies, predominantly onesies from onesies down under. I'm flipping the camera around. E. So this is the newest addition to my Calico Critters. Um, it is the tower with the elevator. And it stops at each floor. Um, okay, so maybe it didn't stop. <laughs> it's supposed to stop at each floor. And then this is the red roof and house with all of the additions. At least I think all of the additions, if there's more, I'm gonna ask Santa about that. And like, there's just different scenarios going on through the whole house. And then as we go further, this is the next section of uh, toys and toy bins, which I'll go over too. So this section I tend to film in a lot because my play mat is down here. So I like to sit here and film or play. Um, it's just squishy and I like to be on the floor a lot. Better for my knees. <laughs> um, so this is actually the diaper closet, which we will get into, but these are toy bins and I like to keep them all set up as well. Oops, there must've been an earthquake. All of these guys fell over. I actually think I had to scoot this over to get to the plug that's behind here. So they kind of had to tumble. So this is the bakery, which the owls own. This is the owl family. Um, this is the flower shop, which this, this kitty cat owns. Um, this, this cat is heavily interested in this cat. They're going to link up for sure. They're going to be a thing. Um, this is one of my favorite toys. It's my littlest pet shop airplane. Um, we got this book over here that my friend sent me. I love this one because daddy will like control the head and like make it do this stuff like it And then we got the shelf up there. So I just keep some like odds and ends stuff up here. Rattles, um, here's some more rattle. This picture was drawn for me. It's supposed to be of me by Animal, Animal? Anime Portraits. 
Um, and then I just have a stuffy, and then this is like a little good smelly thingy. I really am into like soft smells and stuff. It actually is something that helps my headspace when things smell good. Not like perfumey, but when things are like just like clean and fresh, like laundry, like fresh clean laundry. I love that. Okay, so let's go to the diapy closet. Oh boy, this is gonna be a mess. All right, guys, exposing myself yet again. There's just so much chaos in here. Um, ugh, up here are a bunch of unopened diapies. Um, those are like backup, not good ones. We have peekaboos, carousel, uh, critter caboos, felicities. These are two different kinds of crinkles diapies. These are some white bambinos, bunny hops, the school skadoodle ones from Bambinos, Rear's Little Monsters, those are the all black ones that look like garbage bags, <laughs> mermaids, dinos, uh, those are all like, I think there's Taika Bulls in there. Um, those are Foresight AMPM, Sea Critters, Dino Rars, Mega Max. Don't you dare, these are Trust. Trust is trying to get out. I see some barnyards back there too by Rear's. And then <laughs> we have more diapers. Um, this whole thing is diapers. These are DC and Moors. Yeah, I really like um, kind of more rare diapies. Um, but yeah, and currently this is actually my playpen, but I've had to fold it up um, because our Christmas tree goes where the playpen goes and we're getting ready to decorate for Christmas. So I'm not going to have my pen for the holiday season. Um, there's some more spare diapers. This is going to be for a cheap diaper video. There's a bunch of them. It's just for a video. Um, this is my diaper bag. I just keep it in here. So like when I have to go out, I will remember to put extra diapers in here if they aren't already, but I usually have a couple in there. Um, yeah, and then we just have a couple little toys. Um, I believe I have some diapy covers back there. Those are like the animal tail ones. I also use this closet for my Christmas stuff. So like this wrapping paper and like labels and stuff. It's, uh, it's a tight fit. And then there's diapers all the way down to the floor. <laughs> we have a whole another toy cubby over here. These are more calico critters and things that are similar to that, like woodsies and stuff. I have the mansion up there. And then each cubby is like its own like different scene and scenario. The newest one, I'm backwards. Oh, this is the pony salon and this is the nursery daycare center. Those ones are kind of like my newest ones. So I'll zoom in and show you. So this is the hotel. There's like another bakery, um, a sweets shop, a floral shop. This is actually um, a toy set from Walmart. It's Walmart's version of Calico Critters and they're called Honey Bees or Honey Bee Acre. Um, we got the Fox family that's in the cafe, Dalmatian family. Um, these are all of the hoodlum kids. This is probably one of my favorite things to play with, this and you'll meet them, the boo boys. Um, we got a baby who fell off her swing. That's the nursery set. And this is one of my favorite ones. It's the pony hair salon. I love it so much because like the ponies literally have hair and you can play with it. Oh, I love it so much. That's the big house right here. Daddy put this one together too. It makes me nervous to move it because he set everything up inside. But it's a big... Let's open it. I don't know if anything's gonna fall out. But it's a big house. So this is the really big honeybee acre house. And daddy mostly set this up, but after opening and closing it, it kind of got messy in the kitchen, especially. Is everybody okay in here? Oh, this is newer too. This is my giraffe family. I, I pretend that this is kind of like a bed and breakfast. So like people who aren't from around here, like the giraffes, they stay at the bed and breakfast when they're vacationing. Gently put it back. Gently. I don't want to ruin it. Okay. Let me just flip it shut. And there we go. Okay. 
Okay. And it's got its little handle and you just very delicate. Ta-da! More heckin' toys. This is our newest, I say our, it's, it's for me, but daddy built it and he put it in here. The newest shelving unit, it's like this half octagon thing. I don't know, I love it. And it has like the little cubbies that I bought like little bins for. Um, but mostly it's kind of just like set up. I really like to be able to see things displayed, almost like how people do with like Lego sets or like train towns. That's kind of my jam. Like, yeah, I play with them, but also like I need to be able to just come in and look at them because it's part of my own therapy. I just, it makes me feel really good to be able to look at them. So there's that and then above it, this is like the whole circus calico thing and that's the whole treehouse one. Um, there's a couple little elements to it down here too, but we'll go through it. I'll show you everything. I keep my spare toys in here too. So let's, let's go see. So I'll start up here with the tree house. It's got like the, the little swingy, it's got the slide. We've got some like extra accessories from other things too. I kind of just mix and match. I don't know why there's a toilet in the kitchen. Just, it's fine, it's fine. And then down here, this is like this whole circus. I got most of the rides. There's a couple things I know I don't have for it, but I'm out of room anyway, so. And Christmas is coming. <laughs> So I'll go through like the bins and stuff in a minute, but just to show you guys, this is the Boo Boys. These are my favorite ones to play with. I don't know why. They're always my favorite. They have the best, most epic games. Um, I have Sensory Cube in here. Yeah, so those are all the toys, but let's go through the cubbies. One of the first cubbies I have this little bin in. This is some spare like Cabbage Patch clothes and diapers. Um, I have Polly's. Polly's, Polly's, and then I have some just odds and ends toys. These are actually what daddy bought me as my birthday cake toppers, but now they are just toys. Winnie the Pooh themed birthday. So that's the first bin, but there's more stuff. So these cubbies are super deep. So in the same top cubby, there's a whole mushroom tree house play set. So, that's exciting because I can't believe that everything fits in there. So that's the first cubby. Oops. The next cubby, I have my Magic Mixies, which I already did. We have a video on the channel if you want to see how Magic Mixies work, but I kept all of the stuff. It's really fun just to play with and play pretend like you're making potions. You can buy refill kits, but I just, I like to just play with it. And then in the back of there, this is what it looks like, by the way, I'll pull these out. We have more Polly's. This is a bigger Polly Pocket pony set. And I have two boxes of book sets. One of them is the Blue's Clues one, which is 12 books. And the other one is the Disney Baby Poo one, which is also 12 books. And they're just like little mini books. You can see on the back what these are. So I have two of these and Blue's Clues and Winnie the Pooh are both my number one uh, comfort characters. So, ting. This bottom cubby also has like another kind of random toy bin in it. Um, again, these are kind of like odds and ends stuff. I have rattles, these are wrist rattles, some handmade teether toys, um, just baby toys. Um, I have some little pet shop accessories in here that came with my airplane. There's some passy clips, some sensory toys, more sensory, oopsie, more sensory toys. Um, what else? There's just kind of like a lot of baby toys and sensory stuff. There's squishies and rattles and chewies and fidgets and then like li just little odds and end toys because I mostly just collect calico critters, but sometimes I have some other things that I obsess on, like these crybabies, which you can feed them water and then press a button and they cry. I don't know why, I just like that. Um, oh, I got some teether stuff in here. Yeah, and, oh, what's that? I gotta flip the camera around to show you what else is in here because I don't wanna take all, all of this out right now. 
So in the back of this cubby, that is a little tea set. And these are my Nana Na dolls. I have more Nana Na dolls that are in the closet, but they come in their own little like cases. So they're the ones that look like little book bags. So like you can just pack them up and put them in their cases and keep all the pieces together. So I keep those hanging um, in the side of the closet. So in this one, it's just my sensory cube. It's a Blue's Clues one. It was handmade. It's called um, The Softest Shop, I think. Um, but yeah, I was a little sad that it doesn't have more rattle, but I do like it. It's got like little Blue's Clues things like hidden in here so you can kind of like push it around and find it so it's like a game and it does have different textures and a cute picture um again though i the only thing i wish my bracelet is rattling and i'm like oh wait does it rattle i wish that it had a rattle but honestly i'm a crafty little lady i could open this and put my own rattle in it if i really wanted to okay this is the last uh bin on this thing and it is all Passy stuff. So I have a lot of stuff happening in here. Um, I keep spare teats of all different kinds in here. Um, all sorts of different shapes and sizes and styles of passies. I do have a full passy tour on my Patreon if you want to see. I have a lot of a lot of goodies at this point all different artists, <laughs> but yeah, it's a big bin of passies, teats, and different um, clips, different styles. This is one of my favorite ones. I love that it has this little bear on it. It's really simple. I'm weird and some passy clips just are not comfortable to me. Oh, I have some passies that I'm gonna modify, which I think I'm gonna actually do in a video to show you guys how. I don't know. I've never done it with one like this before though. This is, uh, I think it's a nook. Yeah, I'm gonna try though. We're gonna see. Hopefully I don't break it. Yeah, that's literally what's in here. Just classy stuff. I have so many like deco ones too. Yeah. <laughs> For everybody who's like, oh my gosh, how do you store your passies? like a monster. And as we glide along the room, why did I say it like that? Glide along the room. This is the plug of the tripod, sorry. Um, this is my first dolly house that I got and it's a Woodsies one. Um, and this one, daddy actually got me. So Woodsies are the Target version of Calico Critters, but this is like one of my most played with houses. It's kind of a disaster. It became everybody's house and also a foster home. I don't know. There's so many babies here. There's so many babies. Um, but yeah, so that's my only other big, big house. And it was like the first one, but oh wait, actually, let me, let me see if I can do this. Okay. Ready? Yay. It's got lights. How cool is that? Yeah. It's a cool house. All right, we're just gonna scoot on past the window because it's just a window. Um, oh, that's a lie. Wait, it's not just a window. Hold on. This is a Raya, a Raya music box. And is this something? I can't remember how to open it. This door opens somehow. You press in and then it opens. It's got all sorts of goodies. A ring, a TY ticket, and is that a guitar pick? <laughs> All right, yeah. I really keep my precious gems in here. And then I have a gun, stuffy, and So over here we have my big old honey pot, which is, is pretty new. Um, and also like my ball pit, which I'll show you guys too. But this big plushy honey pot, it's all squishy. It actually holds all of my Winnie Pooh toys. These are my like favorite little, little toys, like little baby toys. Oh, there's more in here. Hold on. Oh, where did it go? Is it? Oh, in my hand. Silly me. And then, hold on. There's this squishy thing. It's like a little pillow. 
Um, I use it just to sit on the floor, but it's supposed to be like honey that pours out of the pot. So fun fact, I bought this on Chewy.com. It's meant for cats to go inside, but me and my love of Winnie the Pooh, I got it for me. If my kitty cats want to go in it, they are more than welcome, but um, this was definitely bought with the purpose of for me. And then of course my ball pit, which I love. It's just like the best, most relaxing, funnest thing ever. Um, so I have a bunch of stuff in the ball pit though, like my body. <laughs> um, I want to get in, but it always makes a really, really big mess and I don't want to have to clean it up before I finish the video. Um, <laughs> so I'll just do my best to show you. So over here, we have a bunch of stuffies. Behind the giraffe is more stuffies. This is one of my newest toys. He glows. He plays different songs too, but we'll let it play now that I pressed it. Sorry. And then I have more stuff from Raya. I have some dragons and this is one of my favorite things to play here because she is like a water dragon. So I pretend that this is like the ocean. And then this is, I don't really actually like use this, but when I dress up as like a baby cow, I just use it as like a prop. It's a little calf baba. What else is in here? I think that it's just lots and lots of balls. I think it's just balls. <laughs> Oops. So over here, we just have a couple extra toys. This is a night light. Oh, you can't probably see it. It is glowing though. You can kind of tell. It glows quite bright when there isn't a big ring light on it. Ew, this is a night light. Um, these are my stackies. So when I just feel like kind of zoning out little, I love to put stuff like this and my sensory cubes and stuff. Which one's the biggest? Which one's bigger? Purple? Is that the biggest one? Wait, is blue bigger? No. These look the same. Maybe purple? I don't know. Is there a numerical order here? Does that look right? I think I did it right. Yeah. Okay, so above us, so these are all of my books, which somebody asked me if I would go through them with you. Um, I did want to note that things like coloring stuff and other littles items that you like assume that I probably have. I basically my whole house is for me and my little self whenever, wherever I want to partake. This room is specifically for toys and diapers kind of. Um, but the rest of my house, like, you know, I have my baby bottles in the kitchen. I have baby food in the kitchen. I don't have to like store it in one specific area. And then like crayons and coloring books and littles, arts and craft stuff I have in my craft room, my like work area where I also make pacifiers. So that kind of stuff isn't gonna be in here. I eventually will have to do like a house tour because my bedroom is very baby as well. But this is where all the toys are, and this is where I predominantly spend my little brain time, basically. All right, so with that being said, that's why there's no like coloring books and stuff within my books. That was very long-winded, sorry. I also have more books in my bedroom and stuff too, but we're just going over this first. I'm getting ahead of myself. That's for another video. All right, this is kind of messy because um, I had just gotten books for my birthday. Uh, so this is like an I Spy book, so that's more of an activity one. These ones are just kind of bedtime ones that Daddy reads to me. This is one of my favorite ones. When we're together, I love that one so much. It makes me like want to cry every time. Um, these are just some little calico books that I actually do love to read. They are so cute. Or excuse me, they're not calico. These are the Woodsies, which calicos come with books too, but the Woodsies, the ones from um, Target. This is a book that somebody actually said was their most favoritest book ever, so I ordered it on eBay. I haven't read it yet, though, but I did buy it. It's an older one. Um, <laughs> uh, Miracles of Jesus, the Easter Bunny brought me this. Um, this is... What are these? 
Little Donkey and the Babysitter. Oh, okay, I remember this one. And this is the book with no pictures, which I love when Daddy reads because it's all about being, like, silly and expressive and how you read it. This, I highly recommend this book. It's so much fun. This is Next to You, which is just, like, another really adorable book. Oh, it's literally a book of adorableness. Yep. <laughs> The books that are up here, this is actually a drawing like pad. We use this for cosplay when daddy dresses up as Steve, but it's actually a dry erase book. So it comes with, like a dry erase marker up here and you can like draw and redraw forever in it. Also in here is my handmade rattle. Yes, this was handmade. So cute. It says blue on it. And then for books, The Owl Goes on Holiday. Daddy read me this one. This was a really cute one too. Thank you, Bear. This one I really like when I'm by myself. I just really like the pictures. They're really simplistic and sweet. Yeah. Snuggle Bear, Daddy actually read this one to us in a vlog that we did. And it has like, see, I don't know what to call it surprises <laughs> this one's great because it's so many stories in one so it can be like you can read like one or if you're not quite tired you know you can read a couple of them um daddy also read some of this to us for a nap time on patreon um happy heart this is a really sweet book that my friend sent me i have um like all the first what is it considered the first first readers of the Little Bear books. Little Bear is one of my favorite. And this is The Wishing Tree, which is like a little bit older of a book, but Daddy and I will go through phases of reading a few chapters of a bigger book every night. We also did this with the Night Tale books. Highly recommend the Night Tale books if you like something a little bit spookier, but still kid friendly. It's so good. I love doing these tours, but boy. <laughs> I just make an absolute mess. I just threw all these books in my ball pit. <laughs> all right, I can't get all the way up there. Oh, the camera's the wrong way, hold on. I can't get all the way up there, but this is a pottery horse that I made and painted myself. It was really fun. I do want to show you. Ah, stay. What? Ah, dang it, you okay? Okay, so I'm in love with this. I was supposed to paint it like white after painting it black, but then once I painted it black, I was like, no. I love this thing so much. Look at his little freckles. I gave him makeup too. I don't know. I was really proud of this. I thought it looked so cool. This was sent to me. This is a vintage Winnie the Pooh picture that my friend sent to me. They found it at like a thrift store or something, but I love this so much. <laughs> It's one more shelfie to go to. Right here. Brrr. I'm gonna walk through my ball pit. Ah! <laughs> so up here we just have some spare stuffies. This is sensory cute. Um, this is like a interactive blue. Um, all of these are from Target. I get a lot of people who ask me where I get these ones specifically. They're from Target. And wait, you're supposed to talk. Hello. <laughs> and then I don't see a lot of people talking about these, so I'll show you. Oh, let me. <sighs> this is a plushie that holds a passy. And I this did not come with it. This passy didn't. This is a little for Big Passy, but all you have to do is order the plushie. It does come with one, but if you like specific passies, you can switch it out. This is from Envy Body Kawa Kawaii Shop. I think that's what it's called now. It used to be called Envy Body Little Shop, but all I did was is I took the handle off and then you can just switch it out. Kind of like a piercing. I hope that doesn't hurt little penguin. But then, you can like have this when you like go night night and you won't like lose it in the bed. What a trashy. <laughs> yeah, 
but I don't see a lot of people talking about stuffies with the passies attached to them. Um, there is one more thing that I wanted to show you guys though. So this is here for right now because it usually goes on my playpen, but this is um, my mobile, mobile, I don't know what, how to say it, but I will move this like kind of around the house. It plays music and it spins and I really genuinely love it. It's quite calming. It's just on like a thingy thing like this. So if you have like a chair or something to put it on and then it can hang and it can spin and play music. I don't know, I find it really easy to move around. Oh no, my phone is almost out of storage. Uh oh. Okay, every baby, I think that that will be it for this little room updated tour. You got to see all of the new stuff in here. I'll definitely have to show you guys some other little stuff that's in my house because uh, I have lots more baby space things that are just scattered about. Let me just set the baby down. <laughs> so. Please be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, check out Patreon for longer videos, exclusive videos, chat with me and see all of the photo sets and baby stuff. It's all of the ABDL lifestyle stuff. So I hope that you guys are doing so awesome and I appreciate you spending this time with me today. And a kiss. Nobody told you today, you're so cute and valid and I love you, okay? <laughs>